It was in Natomas area parking lots like this of Walmart, PetSmart, Home Goods, and Safeway that Elijah Edwards admitted to police he drove around and grabbed women at least six times in September and October of 2023. When he would come close to women, he would lean out of the car and grab their buttocks with his hand. The Sacramento County District Attorney's Office charged Edwards with five counts of sexual battery in October. But during a pretrial conference Monday, the DA's office says Sacramento Superior Court Judge Allison Zavella offered Edwards a deferred entry of judgment, meaning the case could be dismissed after he completes a program that would include community service, therapy, and full-time enrollment in school or a job. If he was to accomplish all of those things in the time frame the court gave him, the case would be dismissed. The DA's office claims that's illegal. The court cannot allow a person charged with a crime that requires sex registration to do something that would pro prohibit that person or prevent that person from registering. This is not that uncommon of an experience. Basically. Mark Reichel, an attorney who's not involved in the case, says he doesn't think it's illegal. It's just a different way to handle crime. This is a judge who is trying to reduce crime overall. And that's why she fashioned the sentence of not sending this young man to jail so he'd be a different person, to give him the opportunity to get better and to do all these other wonderful acts and be responsible to her. The DA's office says Edwards accepted the judge's offer despite their vocal opposition. The big concern is that the conduct escalates and gets worse. And, and, and that's, that's our big fear. And that's why we were so frustrated by the judge doing this. If he goes into the program that she's offering, I think he probably is a lower risk to reoffend. So, you know, we've talked about the plea deal in this case, but what's going on with the suspect? Well, the next time that Edwards is going to be on court is on Monday at 9 a.m., and that is when victims will be able to give impact statements to the judge. We reached out to the court today. They said they can't comment on pending cases. Well, there are a lot of folks who are interested in how this all plays out, so we'll follow it. Thanks, Peyton.